so hey everyone welcome back to the project one so in the previous section i mentioned that with project one we'll be creating a full stack development application wherein we'll be creating a microservice in the middleware and then we'll have a front end which will be written in angular and then we'll be deploying all of these together and also along with the database in rts so in this project the first step that we are going to do right now after looking at the architecture diagram is to go ahead and clone our repositories where we have our backend code and then in the next lecture we'll go ahead and clone our repository where we have the front end code and once we have everything set up we will do a local testing and then finally we will go ahead and deploy all of our infrastructure to the respective services that i mentioned which is nothing but ecs and ecr for the middleware now for the front end we are going to use s3 with cloudfront and for the back end we are going to use rds for our database so in today's class what we are going to do is we are going to create a local environment by using a, a simple ec2 instance uh, and we are going to install git onto that ec2 instance and this ec2 instance is going to be a, a kind of like our local environment because not everyone has an ide installed and I, i can't expect every student to have java and maven installed because some of you are from a, a non technical background or some of you would be from uh, not not from a developer background so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a blank ec2 instance i am going to show you as to how to install git and then clone your code from github and this is a public repository where i have my code so literally everyone will be able to go ahead and clone your uh, repository from github okay. and then what we will be doing in the next section is we'll be installing java and maven onto our ec2 instance which is our local environment and then go ahead and build our code and get a jar file and then we will install docker and then go ahead and get a docker image okay so first steps first let's go ahead and uh, create an ec2 instance and start installing git onto it so let me go to ec2 i am right now logged into my aws account so i'm going to go ahead and launch an instance so i'm going to choose the amazon linux ami because it's my favorite ami and by far the easiest one to work with and i'm going to choose t2 micro i'm going to keep this in a public subnet so it's like my local work machine so that i'll be able to connect to it from my laptop and i'll be able to start working with this as soon as possible uh, because i would like internet connectivity into this machine because i have to also go ahead and download packages from maven uh, in terms of all of our dependencies for our uh, application okay. so i'm not going to give any iam rules right now i'm just going to keep it as simple as possible i'm going to stick to 8 gb of storage that's more than enough for me right now for the name tag i'm just going to call this as local dev machine for the security group i'm going to create a new security group called local dev machine sg and port 22 is going to come from my ip address click on review and launch click on launch i do have a key pair that i have already created launch the instance so i'm just going to wait for a second until this instance is launched and then i'm going to go ahead and start installing a git onto this machine and then i'll show you how to configure git and then how to clone a repository okay so let's just wait for a moment the instance has come to the running status let me try connecting to this instance so grab the public ip of the instance go to your terminal and start typing the ssh command ssh ec2 hyphen user at public ip hyphen i the key pair name give confirmation yes to add the fingerprint awesome so we are within the machine right now and the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to elevate our privileges to super user and then now let's go ahead and install git onto this machine so the easiest way to install git is to do yum install uh, git hyphen y to give the confirmation and once you have installed git it's as simple as it is in order to just clone a repository so let me go ahead and show you the repository first so i'll be having this repositories link in my uh, resources section of this Uh, lecture so that you will be able to immediately find out the git command i also had add uh, a document in regards to all of the different commands that we are doing in this section so we have our code over here and it's nothing but a java spring boot application 
and later i'll talk about how this application works once we do the local testing of this application but for right now the way that we would go ahead and clone our repository is to click on code over here and then grab the https link in order to clone the repository and then go ahead go to terminal and start typing git clone the repository into a specific folder i'm just going to call that folder as student so it has automatically cloned our repository's code let's go ahead and type ls so let's go into student folder so you can see that we have already cloned our files into this ec2 instance so after cloning our files the next step that we have to do is we have to go ahead and um, install java and maven and then go ahead and install i mean execute a command called as maven install or maven package which would go ahead and get our jar files from installing all of the dependencies that are mentioned within the pom.xml file so let i'll catch you guys in the next section where we go ahead and do that